Hi guys, on this episode of Hit the Mahogany, we're going to do, again, something pretty simple. Uh, tequila. Hmm, that's it. Nah, we'll actually do a little bit more than just tequila, okay, but that, that's going to be the base of it anyway. There's a few of you out there that have been probably asking, hey, we've seen stuff with oranges, we've seen stuff with lemons, we've seen stuff with limes. Mm, are you going to bounce onto a Hemingway daiquiri or something of that type where you're going to leverage grapefruit or something different? Yes, we all get to the Hemingway daiquiri at some point. Uh, but tonight we're going to do the Paloma. Nice and simple, anywhere in the world you're going to be able to do this one. You're just going to have to adjust which soda or sparkling drink you're going to be using in it, but it's basically the base of it. So, it's tequila. It is... Uh, Grapefruit soda of your choice. So here I'm actually using, I'm looking forward to trying this one, I haven't yet. Uh, I've got the Fever Tree uh, Pink Grapefruit. But wherever you are, if you're using, uh, let's say you're somewhere, Fresca, there you go, there's a good one. Everybody friggin' knows Fresca. That's everywhere. Give that one a shot as well, okay? What we've got here, Milagro, the, so the, this is an annual. You can use a Blanco, but you can get away with one that's slightly aged, the annual here. You know what, to be honest, this is the only one that I had in the shelves at this moment in time, so we'll use this, but luckily this one actually works pretty well. Okay, that, that, lime juice. Uh, let's start putting it together, okay? Rocks, glasses, coupe, whatever you want to put it. You can put it in a highball if you want. Uh, you want to add salt to this. The salt uh, adds to the sort of earthiness of the uh, tequila. Just kind of gives it that, mmm, uh, mmm. Mm, there's a bit of an umami comes out of it once you add the salt into it there, you know, it certainly it just kind of lifts it up a little bit, makes it a little bit more savoury and just goes really well with it, okay? Two different ways of actually doing this. Salt your rim, if you want to. Uh, you know, take some of your uh, your lime, rub that around the edge. You've got some salt here. Dun, 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 dun. Hey presto. Let's get a little bit more in there. Hey Bresto, here you go. There is your uh, salted rim as it were. Other option is you can add a pinch of salt to the drink, like that. Either way that you want to do it, give it a shot. If you don't want to do the salt, don't. But uh, I recommend that you actually do it. All right, uh, what do we need? We're gonna build it just straight in the glass over ice. Let's get some ice in here as well then. Okay? Chunks there. Let's get this in. A little bit too much on that one. There we go. That should do us for the ice. Alright, for each one, I'm making two of these, so for each one, it's two ounces of tequila. two ounces and you get a bonus in that as well. Bonus splash as well, okay? Two ounces of tequila. Freshly squeezed lime juice. I've already got lime juice here. Makes it nice and easy while I'm doing this, okay? But uh, fresh juice of about half a, a lime. What it equates to is actually about half an ounce of uh, lime juice. Uh, I make it between half and three quarters. I like this pretty tart actually, to be honest. I like things that are a bit tarty sometimes. And uh, this drink does one of them, okay? That's your lime juice, tequila, lime juice. ba -da! That is it. All that we need now is the uh, soda. And I had one here that was, ah, there we go. I had one that was more chilled than the other. So starting off with one that's actually chilled, <laughs> keeps it nice and cold for longer. Oh, there we go. And then we should just be able to top this up nicely. I think this size of bottle will do perfectly in that drink. There we go. Okay. Soda. Just a quick stir. Bring it all together. Quick stir of this one. Try not to pull too much of the salt in there. There we go. And that ladies and gentlemen, is a Paloma. What the hell else, you know? Did I look into any of the history around this one? No, I just knew that this one was going to be refreshing. Great, kick quick, let's get through it. All right, cheers.
Let's taste. Oh, wow. Of course, because this is the annual, a little bit of smokiness, a little bit of age coming through. But, uh, mm, just the salt. Just get it right on the edge of the tongue there a little bit. It just, oh, my goodness, it makes it, it's not the fizz that makes it sparkle, it's the salt that makes it sparkle in your mouth. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I like that one. Could be on a beach somewhere. Nice and tart, refreshing. Again, you can adjust the strength of this one as much as you want, you know, if you want this to be, maybe it's a bit of daytime drinking. Maybe you put a little bit more of the grapefruit soda in. Uh, maybe it's a little bit evening, maybe you want something a little bit stronger. Uh, if you're not a big fan of tequila, certainly go with a Blanco, uh, so that you've got not none of that kind of aged, that more of that robust flavour coming through. But either way, you're going to enjoy this big time, definitely. Oh, bloody hell. I'd like to try that with Fresca, that would be interesting, certainly boost up that. Anyway, people, enjoy your Paloma, uh, and cheers. That is good. Cheers.